Hello, this is Ricardo, Technical Marketing Engineer for Cisco InterSide. In this video, we will cover storage integration with NetApp, show the use cases as well as a sample automation workflow to provision storage infrastructure and serve VMware data stores. Storage integration allows users to monitor their storage infrastructure state as well as build an inventory to track all objects, interfaces, volumes, disks, policies, and so on. InterSight orchestration enables users to implement automation for their most common provisioning task or create compound workflows against multiple and diverse targets to deliver an end-to-end -end service. InterSight Workload Optimizer constantly monitors all targets, including your claim storage infrastructure to show relationships and statistics for all infrastructure components and provide recommendations to alleviate pressure, increase performance, or fix service affecting issues. For NetApp storage, we want to claim two different kinds of targets, the Active IQ Unified Manager, or AIQUM, and the ONTAP clusters. As for any other on-prem target in InterSight, select an InterSight Assist and complete configuration with your data. Once both targets type have been claimed, we will move to the orchestration tab to create some automation. We will run a sample compound workflow using the out-of-the-box task library. This virtualization and storage tasks can be dragged from the tools pane on the left into the designer. In this demo, we will create a storage virtual machine to serve our users using NFS and assign a new storage IP interface. We also need an export policy to define what clients can actually consume those resources and a new storage volume for the VMware data store. After mapping the created export policy to the right volumes, we then create a new VMware NAS data store, mounting the volume from one tap. Eventually, a new VM will be deployed sitting on top of this data store. In the general tab, we have created a set of workflow inputs. Even though there are many, we will just present to the end user a limited set of inputs. We set the user facing workflow inputs and execute the workflow. In the ONTAP system manager, our storage VM has been created and NFS is enabled as expected. In vCenter, we now have a new data store using the NetApp volume and a new VM has been deployed. Back to InterSight, in the storage tab, we can monitor the status of the NetApp arrays and clusters. In the inventory tab, we will track all logical objects like volumes, policies, and licenses, as well as hardware-related information like nodes, disks, and ports. The inventory is built based on what we constantly pull from targets and can be leveraged to easily build InterSight Cloud Orchestrator automation workflows. InterSight Workload Optimizer dynamically creates a relationship map among all claim targets and can help identifying what and how is using your storage arrays, what resources are affected in case of issues, and how to remediate. 